The same every week. <coughs> Officials, performance, <coughs> same every week. <coughs> okay, when you're ready, Bells. Liam, um, can you try and sum up your feelings after that? It felt watching it like your team. We're a better team, tonight. better team. Uh, I'm probably getting trouble. Same, same. Go away to Sheffield Wednesday in the game. Decision today, clear red card. No decision. Better team. They, I think they have one moment. Actually, yeah, they have one moment where the ball goes over the bar. Then they have a great moment from John Rose, an outstanding play. They go one 0 up. From then on in, by far the better team in every aspect of the game. Don't take our chances. Throw caution to the wind. That's on me. The second goal's on me because I'm throwing caution to the wind. We have that much dominance, that much territory. The whole second half was played in their half of the pitch. I bring on Harry Vaughan. Deflected cross goes into the area where Matty Jacob would be if I'm not throwing caution to the wind. I'm really, really proud of this group, Baz. I'm proud of this group because they are giving me everything. They are giving me absolutely everything. We are playing football that I really enjoy watching. I really love my team and the way that we play. Um, but for minor details, and this is not the first time this season, you've been here for every game that we've played. If we can cut out those minor errors that we're making and being punished for, then we're going to be absolutely fine. We'll come to the big moment, the, the big non-goal moments in, in a minute. But I guess what you're like, what you're saying there, you know, Jonathan Rose allowed to Salem through defence. Before it's a foul, though. Yeah. Before he, he throws it up the line. Ashley Barnes is a fantastic player. I love him to bits. Experience just pushes our lad, pushes him, takes a ch chest it down, hooks it on. We miss one tackle, and John Rose shows his quality. It's a clear foul. It's a clear. It's not even a, it's a discussion. If we talk about the red cards or the fact that one of my players is concussed and gets a free kick given against him, or two of my players are accused of simulating when they haven't simulated. I can't, I, I'm tired of talking about that because I'm so frustrated from my group of players. I have to say the fans were outstanding today, stayed with us because they're seeing what we're putting into the game, but we're not being rewarded for our performances and this isn't the first time, but I'm ha it has to end because we are a very, very good team at this level and we're not taking advantage of being a dominant team in every aspect of the game today. What's your thoughts on the Connolly incident? I don't know how I don't know how we're penalised for a free kick. I, d I don't know how we're penalised for a free kick. I, d I can understand why the goalkeepers come out. He had a very good game. I don't know if you can punish him. I think they're both going for the ball, but it's clearly our free kick, at the least. I don't want people showing red cards. I don't want um, players off the pitch. But for us to be penalised for that pretty much sums up how I feel the refereeing decisions have gone against us this season. And Baz, you know me. I, I think I'm fair. Over the course of the last 27 games we've had, I can talk about far more incidents that have gone against us than have gone for us, including the first the first game that we played Norwich in. How is Aaron? He's, he's uh, shaken up. Uh, we're going to have to check him over in hospital um, and we have to see if he's OK for Tuesday or for Friday. Just to clarify, that was a concussion substitution, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Oh, it, wasn't. it wasn't because I didn't fully know if he was concussed or not. You couldn't tell at the time, so we just did the safe thing and got him off the pitch. Yeah. Uh, the Louis Coyle incident, I think he's got a bit of a shiner. <laughs> he's got a shiner again, uh, clear red card. What more can I say? Have you been able to speak to the referee? I don't want to speak. Last time I spoke to a referee, Baz, with respect, I got banned. I spoke to him with respect. I got banned for a game. We're at Bristol City. So I, I, I'm not going anywhere near referees anymore because something needs to change. Um, I'm tired of coming out. I, I, you know, when I... I always wanted to become a manager. I said, I'll never blame a result on a refereeing performance. I'll never make excuses. But I can't not speak on what's happening in front of my eyes. I thought his performance helped them in every aspect of the game. We wanted to play football today. We wanted to restart the game. They wanted to slow the game down. They wanted to make tactical fouls. And a referee just bought every single one. And then at the end of the game, he had three minutes on to the end of the game. When they're taking every throw in, took 30 seconds. Every goal kick took 30 seconds. There was a big discussion at the start of the season about we're going to add time on, we want the ball in play. It's gone. We, it's gone. But you know what, what frustrates me? We played Norwich first game of the season, didn't time waste. They had 30 seconds on, they put the ball in the box, they foul our centre half, they score. And today, we're playing three minutes. So how can I not be frustrated for a group of players, young professionals, who's their dream to play in the Premier League, when they're being time after time penalised for things and going, things are going against them? I'm frustrated for the players. Yeah. How did you assess Fabio's performance today? I thought for his first game, he was outstanding. I thought he was outstanding. The positions he took up in between the lines, his understanding, his pressing, gave us such a platform in the game. We, I, I remember us, we pressed and pressed and pressed. They couldn't get out of their half, second half. That's his first 90 minutes in months, and he's only going to get better. And I can't wait to see a fully fit, sharp Fabio Cavallo in his team. Um, no Ali are in the squad tonight. No Ali is close to going out on loan. 
Uh, we've agreed a loan deal with another club. I think Alia needs regular football to find his confidence again and get a regular ga um, amount of games. And we're looking to do some work in his position in the transfer window. Yeah, anything else is anything else close? Not 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 uh, not 100 percent no. Where we're at with Panda is, is that getting closer? It's getting closer and closer. Uh, the details are being worked on by by the guys above me, and yeah, I'm looking forward to working with him. I guess as well, if you take out, if, if you look at the players you've not got available, Seri, Chore, Dilap, Vinagra, Philogene, Philogene. <laughs> you, take, you take, but if you take all those t players out of any squad in the land, you're going to feel it. We're going to feel it. Like, but did you, you make your bench tonight? Perhaps you haven't got the, the, the depth yeah, option. Yeah, I believe in this group, right? And and the thing is, for me, I look at the Norwich team full of Premier League experience. I thought Shane Duffy, like, look, he's a, he's a good friend of mine. I thought second half he headed everything out of his. But he was he, def he had to defend well. Angus Gunn had to play well. I'm playing with a really really young team who dominated the game in every aspect. I'm so proud of them. And if we keep playing in this way, and when we get Jaden back and Fabio's up to full sharpness, Mika comes back and we add in the areas that we we miss in Liam Delap, who's one of the best attacking players in the league. I'm really proud of what our players have done. The only thing I'm frustrated with are things out of our control, which is certain people's performances and not taking advantage of moments when, that we should have. Thank you. OK. Good. In, in terms of things that are in your control, like is it, is it just patience that you need to, to make this, this leap from performance into results? Do you know, it's brilliant, right? We're, we're sat here frustrated. We're sat here frustrated, um, not just with this game, because you've come to a lot of our games and we speak a lot. We should have 10, 15 more points. But I'm, I'm being deadly serious from our performances. So I believe over 46 games, if you perform to a certain level, you will get where you deserve in the end. And I feel like we're on track exactly for what we wanted. We said at the start of the season we wanted playoffs and we're still a point outside the playoffs with 19 games to go. It's exciting. At the moment, we're going through it with injuries and setbacks and certain decisions going against us. By the way, we went away to Sheffield Wednesday, had a clear a red card go against us and then we get it rescinded. Thank, thank God we got it rescinded. We're going to be absolutely fine. You play your way and you stay consistent, we'll be absolutely fine and where we want to be in the end. And in, t in terms of addressing referee standards do do the authorities need to speak to you I think I think I, I feel I feel I do feel like we seem to have a there's a narrative that surrounds us there's a narrative um, the way that we play we want the ball in play we're a possession based team teams that come especially here and I said this against Rotherham teams come here they don't want the ball in play they don't care about having the ball they want to slow the game down but they don't want any rhythm in the game that's what's happening. They do it with tactical fouls. And the tactical fouls are happening in our own half because of how we set up. I've had this conversation before and I'm going to have to have it again because we are being penalised for being a team that want to play and express ourselves and have the ball in play. And that's the thing that frustrates me the most. We are not a team that want the ball out of play. We don't time waste. We want to play. We want fans who spend a load of money to watch us travel around the country to watch a team have the ball in play. And a team that didn't want to do that today we're on the right side of the of the decisions, and that's what frustrates me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Very much. Thank you.